welcome back. A little bit of update. I've uh, got myself a gearbox, went down to the wreckers, and I found this five speed out of a VW. Uh, it's way overkill, but it'll be a challenge, and I'm up for that. Uh, somebody decided to punch a hole in this side case. Uh, who knows why? Uh, did do a little bit of damage to that post there, but the inside looks fine. So I just had to pull this apart, make a little bung up, and TIG weld it in, and it uh, should be fine. Um, this gearbox uh, is going to be a very tight fit. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite fit into the frame I'd already tacked up, so I need to build the back section again. Um, it happens to have a limited slip diff, which uh, is just awesome. I got it for a great price, so can't complain at that. So just taking up this hole now, uh, it's quite thin, it's only mild steel and I just uh, on on and off sort of thing to keep the temperature down, but it's sealed up fine. And uh, once I've done that, I'll just give it a bit of a wire brush, uh, light sand, and then I just put a bit of paint on it. So it um, looks fine. There's a repair there. That's a bit blurry that shot, but it, it's actually come up pretty good. Here it is here, just putting a bit of paint on it. Um, so don't expect any problems with that. So yep, yeah, this gearbox is going to be a fair bit of work. I'm, I'm thinking of modifying the input for a direct chain drive from the engine, uh, from the motorbike engine. So uh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet. But as you can see here, it's it's pretty big and it doesn't fit in the frame I've got now. So it touches there at the front, touches on the other side, and it also touches at the back. And it's quite a tight fit for the uh, drive shafts as well. So going to remake the frame. Uh, a bit of a look underneath. It's doable, I think. It's tight fit. I do need to modify it. I need to cut out a section to allow the train, the chain drive to... Uh, come out, but um, if I can get this to work, I think it's going to be awesome. It'll be indestructible, that's for sure. So here's a look at the new frame. I've had a had a go at it. I'm changing the front as well because I don't want that 45 degree angle anymore. And you can see where I've changed the angle here to give a bit more room. So anyway, a lot more to go. I'll do the other side and see if I can finish this frame off sometime soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> 